Never give up. Never give up. Never give up. Even if difficulties, uh, challenges, uh, stumbling blocks are on the way, never give up. Never give up. Uh, we have always, we have to be driven by the desire and ambition to change Europe, or at least to make it a better place to live. So even if uh, we encounter several difficulties uh, along the way, uh, always be perseverant, persistent, and uh, always have in mind what our major goal uh, and uh, major ambition is. I think the first thing is that you have to have a very good knowledge of uh, European law. And I think when you look at the number of initiatives presented out of 20, only 12 have been allowed to go ahead because the others were judged by the Commission as outside European law. So you really need good, good legal advice. You have to have a good sense of what the European Union can and cannot do. I think the second thing you need is at least a year preparation for fundraising, setting in place your coalitions in each country to gather signatures, and you need funding. It's going to cost more than you think, and time is going to take longer than you think. My advice is uh, to, to try different uh, ways of uh, financing and not to think always about projects and about uh, European funding because this um, uh, European Citizens Initiative mechanism is uh, specific and we have to be very creative. People who are good at computing have helped set up the website. You know, we've all been talking to our friends and colleagues to get them to translate the motion into various EU languages and so on. We misestimated, underestimated the complexity of the process. Things like the risk analysis. If you want to have an online signature, you need to have a risk analysis, and that's several thousands of work and documentation and risk analysis, and that's an endless process. I try to be realistic. I try not to um, involve myself too much emotionally. If it fails, it fails. My advice is uh, if, uh, if uh, somebody wants to make this initiative, to be very uh, clear and to, uh, to put a clear uh, goal, how much um, signatures is realistic to, to collect from his country. Be prepared since there's no longer this sort of whole challenge of getting in to be amongst the first, be prepared, think about all the technical aspects before you actually submit your ECI, so that in a sense, when you get the approval from the EU saying, it's all right, you, your subject fits, you know, you can launch your own ECI, well then be ready with absolutely everything and go ahead and then spend your time just collecting the million signatures. Never give up. Never give up.